all the way in Thailand, first lunch, I'm like, ladies, let, let, let's get to it. I mean, I am messy. I'm fine with that. All right, Giselle, we got to jump right in because you were off to Thailand. You went on ultimate girls trip and you have to tell us why did you sign on? Because you knew there was going to be drama that you knew there was going to be a lot of housewives involved. So what made you sign on? Well, first of all, I do not shy away from the drama. Um, True. Yes. So drama is, you know, that's, that's drama is my friend. Okay. Um, and they said Thailand. I had never been to Thailand. I had never even been to that part of, I guess, the world. Um, and, and, and I'm so happy that I said yes, because it's amazing. Thai, Phuket is completely beautiful. I didn't expect it to be as picturesque mm. as it is. Um, and then, you know, it was like getting to know the ladies. This was like new and fresh. And there's always a bit of like stress associated with like being, being put into a new environment that, you know, if, if we film another season of Potomac, I'm like, ah, oh, I got that. Like, I, I know those ladies. <laughs> right. You're like, I know them. I know how they work. Yes. But like being put into a situation with women that, you know, you really haven't, haven't interacted with on camera before. Um, that's a whole different ball game. And we really had a good time. I mean, you know, I'm like, we're all the way in Thailand. First lunch. I'm like, ladies, let, let, let's get to it. <laughs> I know I saw that in the teaser you're like okay so let's I'm gonna question everyone and I'm like yes this is why I love Giselle like hello were you the only one that did that were you like kind of playing that role the whole time of like I'm gonna instigate a few things but I'm also gonna be the mediator well in the beginning and like in okay. the beginning, I think it, it all the ladies were like, holy crap, what is she doing? What's happening? Why is she like the investigative reporter? Um, but then by like day three, day four, they're like, Giselle, what you got? Giselle, are, you know, like they were ready. And, you know, it. they told, like Alexia told me later, she was like, Giselle, I'm so, she was like, at first I didn't get it, but like, I'm so happy that you really like got into it, but they're not got into it, but just like, spearheaded a lot of the conversations because we didn't have a lot of time there and we wanted to get to know each other and it really left with like us really like pulling back the layers of some ladies and like really getting to like the meat of what makes people tick mm, which as a fan of the show I'm excited for because that's what I want to see <laughs> You're I want to see those layers pulled back yes yes I I, I aim to please <laughs> that's why I love you but you have to tell us this you know a lot of the housewives they get onto the ultimate girls trip and they don't expect to like a certain person but then they end up liking that person did you experience that you're like yes I'm shaking my head head yeah 100 like you know Whitney Whitney I've watched on Salt Lake and I'm like this girl is so like milly mouth doesn't speak up soft and that that on paper is not my kind of girl. But getting to know Whitney, she is fantastic. She was, she is fun. She's funny. She's a free spirit, which I could be a little freer in my life. She's, and I respect her free spiritness. Um, she's a good drunk. Like if when she gets drunk, she is <laughs> funny to me. She is so funny. Um, so yeah, that was my surprise. Okay. Anyone that you just butt heads with. Maybe you weren't surprised, but you guys just didn't see eye to eye. Um, you know, Heather and I had a rocky road. Heather and I, I thought like me and Heather were like totally gonna click, but not so much. Um, you know, so we we had we had a bit of 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 a rough road. Was it because you got close with Whitney? Because obviously they have a strain. And we saw in the teaser that you were trying to make them make amends, which yeah. I don't know if that happened. I don't know where I don't know where they are today. They did hash a lot out in Thailand to the point where I was like, I don't want to hear this anymore. I've had it. Um I, I don't know. I don't know if it was because I became friendly with Whitney. I, I think that, you know, Heather explained a lot of herself to me. I didn't understand Heather for like the first three days. But like once she started explaining herself to me, I, I understood her better. Mm. Um and she kind of just approaches life 
a little differently than me. Some people that's just fine. do, and that's fine. That's totally fine. But what about Candace? Obviously, the two of you are on Potomac together. How did that go down in the teaser? She did call you messy. So, I mean, I am messy. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine. Um, yes, you know, we we finished seven. We finished filming season seven, and then a week later, we flew to Thailand. We were good at the end of season seven. Um, and we had kind of hashed out everything. We had beat it with, beat it to death. Um, so by the time we got to Thailand, I didn't think that we were going to be talking about things that we had just hashed out on Potomac all the way to Thailand. Um, but she did. She wanted to bring up the whole Chris thing. She wanted to, um, you know, embellish on it even more. I didn't understand it. I still don't understand it. Um, it is what it is. So where do you and Candace stand today? We, we do not stand. We, we, we're, we're not good. Do you think it, I know you already, the reunion's done, the Potomac reunion. reunion. Are we going to, I wonder if we'll have a reunion for this. We haven't had it yet, but maybe let's, maybe we need an ultimate girl's trip reunion. So then the two we can hash it out before you start filming Potomac. I am here for an ultimate girl's trip reunion. I'm here okay. for that. Hey, Cohen, are you listening? Um, but yeah, there, there is no hashing out. So, I mean, it's, it's fine. I mean, there are other relationships that actually need to, to be, um, dealt with, you know, we, we have the Leah of it all. <laughs> Which tell me, Giselle, how did that go down? Because we've heard the rumors and we've heard it's wild. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Leah is an interesting character. You know, I met Leah at, um, we did project runway together. I met her there. She seemed like a very cool girl, a cool New Yorker. Um, she has a hard time in groups. And she has said that per her admission. She's great one-on-one, but if you put her in a group of women, you don't know what you're going to get. It is like, it, there's no consistency with her. So um, Leah kind of had a hard time, to be quite honest, mm. with, with everyone. <laughs> with everyone. Now you're saying that you, you know, you peeled back the layers on some of these women to really get to know them. Did anyone do that to you? I am peelable. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like I'm an orange peel. Just peel me back, people. <laughs> I, I think so. Like towards the end, you know, we had a really good um dinner the last no, I'm lying. It was it we started out to be a good dinner and I was I was doing some peeling and then it went left and I put all my shells back on. I was like, nope, <laughs> putting it back on. <laughs> You're like, I'm not dealing with this. No, no, no. Not doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, did you open up about your love life at all? Are we going to see that? Because, you know, everyone's still talking about you and the guy from Winter House. He's still around. He's still, in he's my still life. around. Okay. He's still, okay. Yes. Now, I did not know him when we filmed Thailand. Okay. So that, you know, I was actually seeing somebody else at that time. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we love Jason. Jason's still in the mix. He's still in my life. Is it not in, are you not putting a label on it yet? Or I, I don't feel, I mean, do we need that? You know, we're dating. What's, what's a, what's a label? We're dating. We like each other. Um, he kisses me. I kiss him. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Well, then there you go. You're having fun, like, and you're yeah. dating. I love it. And you obviously are happy with it because I see your smile. So that's all we care yeah. about. Yes. Um, Jason does bring a smile to my face for sure. Well, we love to hear it. I do want to ask you though, because, you know, the whole, I'm going to pivot to Potomac real fast for just one question because sure. Robin is your girl. We love Robin, but she came under heat because turns out she didn't tell the truth about the alleged affair during this past season with Juan. What was your reaction to that? Like, do you think she should have told the truth? Because now a lot of people want her demoted to friend of, and I know she's like your close pal. So I just want your reaction to all of that. Okay. So she, we do not film around the clock. <laughs> right. Okay. So we filmed for like three, four months. And at the, when the situation with this girl happened, I don't know, maybe six months prior to us filming, they had dealt with it in real time. And from what I knew, um, they were fine. And Robin was planning her wedding, which we all saw she got married. So I don't feel like she was hiding anything. 
Um, I can't, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you can't tell everybody what happens to you when there's eight months out the year in which we're not filming. Um, you know, at this point, so much has happened in Robin's life. It's like, demote her? No, she's got a whole lot to tell <laughs> for another season of Potomac. So um, I didn't understand why everybody was like so up in arms. Right. You know, it, we, we weren't filming when this young lady came out to say, you know, a year prior, her and Juan, allegedly something might have happened. Um, but guess what? We talked about it on the podcast and, you know, I don't know. I, I don't understand these people. She talked about it. It wasn't like she was trying to hide it forever. She did discuss it. And and Andy Cohen got to the bottom of it. You know, Andy Cohen grilled Robin and as he should have. He he gave her the grilling. Yeah. <laughs> so, and and there's and there's potentially more as time goes by. There's more. There's like the fallout from that. So, you know, we got to see that. So yeah, season eight. I, I'm I'm here for a Robin Robin Dixon. Okay. One more question before I let you go. I need you to to describe Ultimate Girls Trip in Thailand in just one word. Give me one word to describe the chaos that ensues. It's thrilling. Thrilling. Okay. Firecracker. <laughs> Amazing. Those are three words, but we love them. We love the three words of it all. There are three great words. <laughs> okay. 